Every day this week, we're going to look at a Bible story of what happened in this week in Jesus' life. For most of this week, Jesus was teaching in the temple during the day, and in the evening, he went back, he went out of Jerusalem to a place called Bethany, where he was staying. This is the story of what happened in the evening. When Jesus and his disciples arrived at Bethany, near Passover time, Martha planned a special celebration meal. It was wonderful to have Lazarus back, and it was all because of Jesus, their dear master and friend. Everyone was happy that evening. They still didn't realise what lay ahead for Jesus. Within a few days, he would be arrested and cruelly put to death. It was only Mary who realised that Jesus was heavy-hearted, even though he joined in the happiness of the supper party. She slipped quietly from the room and came back, carefully holding her most treasured possession. It was a large and beautiful flask, full of very expensive perfume. A man would have to have worked for half a year before he could afford to buy such a gift. Mary went across to the place where Jesus was reclining on the couch beside the table and poured every drop of the perfume the bottle contained over his bare feet. Then she gently wiped the trickles of perfume with her long hair. Jesus was glad. It comforted him that someone had understood and given him such love and care. The scent began to fill the air all around, but the harsh voice of Judas Iscariot broke the silence that had fallen. What a waste, he exclaimed. Think of the price of that perfume. We could have sold it and given the money to the poor. Judas did not actually care for the poor, but he looked after all the money and sometimes helped himself to the funds. Jesus saw the shadow that passed over Mary's face. Her happiness was clouded and she looked near to tears. Leave Mary alone, he told Jesus sharply. She has done something beautiful for me. My death is near and I shall not be with you much longer. But the poor will always be with you. You can give to them any time that you want. In the years to come, whenever the good news is told about me, the story of Mary's love and generosity will be told too. There's something really special about what Mary does for Jesus. Not only would he have been able to smell that perfume for the rest of this week through all the things that happened, she also was anointing him as king. It was a role that was usually taken by a priest and it happened to our queen too. When someone's made a king or a queen, they're anointed with special oils or perfumes. And that's what Mary did for Jesus. She realised that he was the king. So now we're going to add something to our Easter garden to represent that. So today, we're thinking about Mary anointing Jesus as king. So see if you can find something that you could anoint Jesus as king with. I'm putting some perfume into my garden because that smells. And that will remind me of the fragrant oil that Mary used. You might want to use a scented candle or something else that might smell and remind you of that perfume that way that Mary anointed Jesus.